So gaming PCs are really expensive. That's a fact. And it gets really tricky if you're looking for a good gaming PC on a budget. Especially if that budget is anywhere under like $700. And as we saw previously, if you're spending around five, six hundred dollars, most sellers on eBay and Craigslist will try to rip you off. We saw many computers around six, seven hundred dollars, but they had components from about 10 years ago in some cases. In this video, we're going to take a look at gaming PCs around the six hundred fifty dollar mark that might be pretty good. Six hundred fifty dollars US is around five hundred pounds, and that's going to be our budget for this video. I would recommend building your computer at this budget because you could save a lot of money in different areas. And I do have a PC part picker list. It's going to be in the description below if you want to see all the components on the list and maybe build it yourself. All right, let's move on to the computer screen. All right, so I have a couple computers saved here in different tabs. Let's start off with this one. So this one is exactly with our budget, $650 free shipping. And right off the bat, you can see 1050 Ti. That's a pretty good graphics card, but it has an FX 4300. That processor is pretty old. It's definitely not the latest. And I'm not really sure how reliable Skytech is. As you can see, this is the only thing you get from the brand, from the manufacturer, this little paragraph. So let's take a look at the specs here. 4300, FX 4300, one terabyte hard drive, an AMD motherboard, eight gigs of RAM, Windows 10 Professional, and the GTX 1050. The 1050 Ti is probably the best part, and I would say this computer is capable of playing games like Fortnite, uh, CSGO, Overwatch, you know, games like that, maybe even GTA, but at really low settings. And it'll definitely be able to play older gen games like, like Black Ops 1, 2, Modern Warfare 3, Resident Evil 4, 5, you know, games on the PS3, Xbox 360, and whatever. Far Cry 3, Far Cry, maybe even Far Cry 4 and 5. But I would say this is a pretty good, capable build. Now you should also be aware and take into account that none of these come with a monitor. They probably come with a free keyboard and mouse. Most companies do that, but no monitor. So you're probably going to have to buy a monitor separately. That's another hundred bucks depending on which one you go with. So you want to take that into account. And once again, since these computers are pretty cheap, they're probably going to be cheaping out on the power supply. But the good thing is that you could swap it out over time. You can't do that on a laptop. So this one, sure, it's cheap, but you could upgrade the RAM, you could upgrade anything, pretty much. Even the processor, but that's a little bit tricky, and you might need a new motherboard for that, but you could upgrade pretty much anything here, so it's not a bad purchase. But it'll come down to how reliable are these guys, Skytech Gaming. So now the other one is from iBuyPower. It also comes with a 1050, but it's not the TI. So this graphics card is not as good as the TI version. Uh, the processor is the FX6300. I believe the other one was 4300. 8 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, Windows 10. Uh, pretty much identical. The main difference would be the processor and the graphics card. So this one's not going to give you the TI. So I would say the performance on the first computer it's ten dollars cheaper <clears throat> it's slightly better because the graphics card is slightly better you're still going to be able to play the probably the same game so maybe at lower settings uh, with this graphics card but i believe the processor is a step up but in gaming the main thing you need is i mean it's it's good if you have a, a combination of a good processor and a good graphics card but mainly you should have a good graphics card and in my opinion the 1050 ti from the first computer the skytech computer is better and it's going to probably perform better than the iPad power computer but they're both decent and you could upgrade both over time the third pc i only have it here because it's interesting now just note three out of five stars so far five customer reviews these had four out of five so you know this one's at a disadvantage already but the thing with this one is that it uses a current processor the ryzen 3 2200g and it's a good processor it has integrated graphics but it doesn't have a graphics card now i've been thinking of doing something like this and they do this once again because this processor has very good integrated graphics i believe it's somewhat the equivalent to like a 1030 a gt 1030 and it's 50 dollars cheaper than the other ones that's actually really really interesting these come with a graphics card and this one doesn't but it comes with a better processor for $50 less. I would actually consider getting this one over the other two because the processor on this one is newer. And sure, you might have to play games at really low settings, probably the lowest they go with only the processor and no graphics card. But in a couple months, you could probably get a good graphics card. You could add a 1050 or a 1050 Ti, and then you're going to be playing games at better settings than these two. So it's a little, it's a weird game to play. If you're on a budget, you're going to have to make some risks. And I think this one, as long as the, these people, exotic PC, as long as they know how to build a computer, and they have good support and you know the computer gets here in one piece then i think this would be the best option but that's only if you're planning on upgrading over time if you're not and you don't want to you know go into your computer take out some parts and put some other ones in or in this case just put some in then go with one of these probably this one this is the best one 
from the ones we've seen, but this one is more future proof. It's still not going to play games at the highest settings, even when you add a graphics card in, unless you add something like a 1070 or, you know, one like that. But it's a good computer to learn in, and I would definitely, you know, consider buying that if I was looking for a PC on a budget. Now, I put the link to CyberPower PC. iBuyPower is pretty much the same thing, but the cheapest computer that I found here was. $789 and I also tried to lower the price by getting a different case, getting a different power supply, getting a different cooler and the lowest it went to was about $750 which is still uh, $100 above our budget so if you're going to be buying a gaming computer on CyberPower PC, sure you get quality, you get good brands, even the cheapest RAM is going to come from like 8 Data or Corsair, you know it's still a good brand but you're going to be paying a little bit more and then shipping is another like $75, I believe the total came out to like $850 or 890 something like that with tax and shipping included so you're gonna be paying a premium if you're buying a computer from cyber power pc and you still have to buy a monitor Th these do come with a keyboard and mouse but no monitor you're probably gonna get to like a thousand dollars if you buy a computer from cyber power pc even though it's like 750 when you buy it and i'll try to have the conversion from dollars to pounds somewhere on the screen so if you're thinking of building a computer this is for you now i came up with this little parts list quickly uh but yeah i chose the parts that might save you some money and there's even other options here so let's take a look at them once again the processor we saw on this computer the ryzen 3 2200g it's a very good processor 95 dollars we have the cooler master hybrid 212 evo that's because it's it's a basic cooler basic air cooler but this processor doesn't really heat up I mean, it's not a really high power processor. If you want to overclock it, then you might consider getting a better cooler, but I'm not even sure if you could overclock them that much. The motherboard is the Gigabyte B450M. Now you need to make sure this one is compatible with the AMD processor. I'm assuming it is because there's no alert here, but yeah, make sure they're, they're compatible. Uh, G-Scale RAM. Now the thing with AMD processors, the Ryzen processors, is that you want to get faster memory because they really complement the processors. With Intel, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but with AMD, it does. So faster memory is better for AMD 3000 megahertz $95 and it'll be dual channel a one terabyte hard drive because at this budget you're not really going to be looking for an SSD they're just too expensive a gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050 it's not the TI version but you can upgrade to the TI if you do something which we're going to get into in a little bit thermal take core v21 micro ATX tower case now all of these are micro ATX part it's still a gaming PC but it's a little bit smaller it's still the same performance and stuff just smaller package and this case is $55 but you can choose a different one for less if you want but this one looks pretty cool but once again yeah if you want to lower the price then you might choose a different one i saw some for about 30 dollars or something you might want to choose one of those and the power supply is a 450 watt uh, 80 plus bronze power supply from corsair you don't really need that much power here 450 watts is more than enough i believe it only takes 184 watts to power this computer so you know you shouldn't have any problems there and the operating system so here is the thing microsoft windows 10 is 108 dollars but i made a video on it a couple months ago you could get a windows key from scd key for 12 13 dollars that saves you how much is that 95 dollars you save 95 dollars that could go towards a better graphics card and if you get a cheaper case you know you could save another 20 dollars there that's 120 more for a different graphics card now if we look at the price for a 1050 ti a 1050 ti is only 190 dollars how much is a 1060 all right forget i said anything a 1060 is 242 dollars if you save money by getting the operating system on SCD key and you lower the price of your case, you could get a 1066 gig for the same price. How much is this? The total for this build is $669. You could get a 1060 for that same price. And a 1060 is really good. You could play games at high settings. GTA, you could play it at high settings or at least medium and high. You could play the latest games with no problem. This is why building a computer is so much better than just buying one. And building one is not very hard. You could watch a couple YouTube videos. I might even make one in the future. I learned how to build a computer just by watching YouTube. I bought mine pre-built, but I've disassembled it and reassembled it, added parts and, you know, swapped out parts so many times that I know how to do this now. It's so easy. The only tool you need is a screwdriver and a flash drive, but that's for installing the operating system. You could learn how to do that. It's really simple. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Tell me if you found this helpful at all. These are some computers on Amazon, CyberPower PC, and my own, you know, PC part picker list. The link's going to be down below, by the way, for the for all the computers that you see in this video. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. Are you buying a computer anytime soon around this price range? What's your thought process? What are you going to do? Are you going to build one? Are you going to buy one pre-built? Are you going to buy a cheap one and then upgrade it over time? Tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.